What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're here in my shop today and we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to work on a boat. So we're not exactly working on a boat. We're gonna work on a boat trailer. I've been doing a lot of wiring here in the shop lately. For those that follow, you know about the Packard. This is getting new wire, rear, all the way front, engine, interior, gauges, lights, everything is brand new in this car because the wiring harness that was in it was no good. So I'm getting good at wiring. Today, we are going to rewire this boat trailer. Now it should be a fairly simple process, but I know a lot of people have questions. First things first, you can get submersible trailer light kits from like agri supply or tractor supply any place like that i believe lowe's and home depot even has this stuff and really this is all you need on your trailer is going to be turn signals brake lights tail lights this trailer is already set up with marker lights but half of them don't work so i'm probably just going to bypass the whole marker light situation and go ahead and just get the lights that i really need to work on this now, the wires do run through the tongue and then through each side of the boat. So what I need to do first is lay my harness out, make sure that it's long enough, and then we're gonna start showing you how to fish this stuff through the frame of the trailer. All right, so let's go over what comes in this kit. All right, you have your left hand, your right hand, lights. This one, as you can see, there we go, has your license plate light in the bottom. This one, nothing. So, of course, your license plate is going to go on your left side. It comes with your mounting hardware, things I don't like to use, more things I don't like to use, and some little clips that will hold your harness in place. License plate bracket, your trunk harness, which is short, and then your long Y harness, which is going to run up each side of the trailer. So the first thing we need to do is go up to the tongue and see how much harness we have sticking out of the tongue so that we know it will reach the truck. So I'm gonna grab a tape measure and measure this real quick. Okay, so lucky for us, we already have a harness run through the tongue of the trailer and all the way back. If you have to fish this brand new, it's kind of a pain. So what we're gonna do is we can go ahead and cut the end of our harness off here, the one we're not gonna be using, take our new harness, tape it to the old harness so that we can pull it through. When we remove the old harness, the new harness will install itself. All right, so the next step is we need to pull the wires all the way down the sides of the frame of the trailer. Now this part's gonna be a little bit tricky because uh, you never know what you're gonna run into along the way. But same scenario, uh, except the harness splits. So yellow and brown one side, green and brown on the other. Yellow is gonna be left, green is gonna be right. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape this up and try to pull the harnesses through each side of the frame. All right, so here's what we got on the back of the lights. Three wires on each. The wire colors correspond to the wire colors we just pulled through the frame of the boat. And then this grounds to the frame of the boat. I'm gonna change out that eyelet because I don't really like it. Now, they include scotch locks and uh, wire nuts, but we're not gonna use those. I have some heat shrink butt connectors that we're gonna use. I'll show you how those work here in a second. But what we're gonna do first is go ahead and mount these to the boat because the wires come out the bottom and then we can go ahead and wire in 
to the harness that we just pulled through the frame. Okay, so these are our heat shrink butt connectors. Basically just like a regular butt connector, but you apply a little bit of heat to them with either a lighter or a small torch, and then they heat shrink tight. So we're gonna use these because they'll be watertight. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the ground so you guys can see, and then I'll mount the light afterwards. We have the lights mounted. Now what we have to do is attach our ground, which I'm just gonna do with a self-tapping screw right into the frame. That way I know I have a good ground. Have to do this on each side. And we're gonna come up here. And we have excess wire. So we're gonna pull that back through the tongue here to the length that I want. Then we have to attach our ground in the front. And after that, we'll hook it up and see if it works. Okay, so we have the truck hooked up to the trailer. You can see we have tail and turn on this side. Tail and turn on this side with our license plate light. And that's gonna do it for wiring some simple trailer lights. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, be sure that you put them in the comments below. I try to answer those at least weekly, if not more often. Be on the lookout for some more videos coming your way. Thank you for watching, we'll see you again soon.